Hello, I'm Lee Davis. Uh, I created the Door to Death comic book, and I wanted to share with you a very uh, ignorant and uh, stupid slanderous uh, uh, review issue one has gotten recently. And I'll tell you why. I'm going to read it for you. The headline of this, it, it's an, an <coughs> excuse me, an anonymous uh, customer. So, uh, the headline is just racist. <sighs> I've seen this so many times, and you know, I, I'm, I'm really not too surprised. And it says, very racist. Was not happy when I started reading it and seeing that. I will not be keeping this book, and I wish I would have known before I bought this. If you're looking for a good horror manga aside from Junji Ito, I'd recommend Doubt or The Drifting Classroom way before I would ever recommend this. And I agree uh, The with that last part of The Drifting Classroom is a nice uh, backup after you've read all Junji Ito. Junji Ito, anyone who knows me knows I worship Junji Ito. So anyway, look, calling someone a racist just because, you know, for whatever stupid little reason is stupid. You know, it's it's... It's not smart. It's a very childish thing to do. And I think anybody, I mean, so, somebody who just jumps to that reaction after reading a comic, that's intended for mature readers anyway. They probably shouldn't be reading comics. They should still be, this person should still be reading, uh, you know, children's books, um, you know, Muppet Babies or something like that. Because, um, and, and uh, this is how it is. You know, I... I might not have seen as much as uh, you know the other guy, but I've had my own personal life experience, and I've been out there, and I've seen great people. You know, I've seen great people of all races, and I've seen some bad people in all races. And the thing is, I, I'm married to a Chinese woman. My daughter's half Chinese, and uh, when we were living in Virginia, we lived in a college town uh, where there was a very strong Chinese population. Well, guess what? We ended up spending a lot of time with them, and it was a real pleasure to get to know them. And while I don't base any characters directly off. Uh, off these friends, you know, they're very inspiring to me creatively, you know, they, uh, and uh, many, many good ones, and a couple bad ones, you know, uh, and, and once again, I'll, I'll stress, no one's based off anyone directly, but I might, I, I, I might have taken inspiration from some of the bad ones, too, and bad Caucasian people, you know, so there's going to be some spoilers here, and I frankly don't need to prove to this person or anybody else that I'm not racist. I know I'm not, and uh, I don't really think I, I, it's it's bull that I should be. I'm 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 doing this as a benefit to y'all because the problem is someone someone says words like this, inflammatory words like this, and you know what happens is sometimes the publisher will just pull it because they don't they say oh that word you know. No, let's let's get away from that. Let's look at the work and, and and think about it for ourselves. Okay, let's just not say as soon as there's a bad, you know. I think it's more naive to say that uh, one race is purely benign, one race is purely evil. You know, I mean, am am I really? You know, look at look at Quentin Tarantino. I'm not going to compare myself directly to anybody else, but just think about think about his work. He's clearly not a racist man, you know, but he he puts uh, really bad, rotten white people, really kind of uh, neutral white people and and uh, really good white people and the same for other races. You know, it's just he's it's it's just uh, it's kind of dull and it really does water things down. If you if you know, this whole politically correct uh, schematic is really destroying uh Art. And another thing I just want to say before I get into all this, I've had my art, I've had my dreams attacked all my life by really narrow-minded people for any, all kinds of stupid reasons. And the thing is this, you know, this is supposed to be a free country and, you know, you, and I think to attack people's dreams, and I've seen it happen to like my friend Mark Klein, uh, I, to, to attack someone's dream when they worked real hard and to find these weird little things to nitpick at it. And, you know, so once once again, I, I don't really feel I have to prove myself, but if anyone really wants to know. Uh, okay, and here, here come the spoilers. Uh, we start off with the comic book. Uh, Door to Death. Uh, it introduces a former child actor who's all grown up now and washed up. And then it deals with his agent. Now, once again, I can't I can't say this was based directly off the man, but he's he's an openly homosexual man, and this and you know not like I put a big emphasis on that. It's just kind of clear he is, and uh, he was inspired by a former um, a former supervisor of mine, who I was very fond of. I think he's he's just a a, a great uh, great dude, and uh, I, was, I might have been given a little nod to that fellow with that, and. 
you know, no, no real commentary. Just this is this is real life. You get out there, you meet all kinds of different people. Some good, some bad. Okay, and uh, then we get to a we get to a supermarket scene, and suddenly we have introduced a very nasty white person and a very nasty Chinese person. Okay, now a childish person would say, "Oh, he drew he drew Chinese people in a bad stereotypical way." I'll, I'll draw I'll draw anybody, you know, any kind of bad person, you know, and you can say, "Well, she has broken English." And I'll say, "Yeah, I mean, but r read on, okay." Because then we introduce, uh, you know, three entrepreneurs. It's, um, I mean, it's sorry. I, maybe I shouldn't get too complex, but, but they are cousins to the the bad the bad Chinese, and uh, their friend who are breaking off and opening their own sushi restaurant. And then the joke is also made that uh, they're Chinese. Uh, one person points out, you know, aren't you Chinese? I thought that was Japanese food, and. They say, well, no one really knows in the, the difference in this area. I mean, uh, you know, that's it's kind of a joke because, uh, you know, we have a friend who runs a Chinese Japanese restaurant in a very small Virginian town. And, um, you know, we just kind of joked around here. Not a whole a lot of people have a lot of uh, understanding. You, you know, there's there's not a lot of exposure to Eastern cultures. And a lot of people don't know the difference. I didn't until I was in my uh, 20s, my early 20s. Um, and so anyway where am i going with all this anybody who reads the comics sees that uh, you know a lot of the, a lot of the good guys are are asians in this and 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 there's some there's some bad white people and even you know at one point the bad chinese is 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 teamed up with the bad white people and behind uh, her back, they're calling her a derogatory word for a Chinese person, and that is my inter That is how I see actual, you know, not the worst kind, but a, 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 a sort of racism where they're they're hanging out with this person, and they're all kind. Of, they're just nasty people, so they're all kind of using each other. You find out the white, the white woman is using the manager is just trying to butter her up and act like she's her friend so she can hold a good position in the workplace. Um. And her friends have nothing to gain from this, so they're just, you know, why are we hanging out with this goofy, you know, what, calling her names? Uh, and, and you could call it satire or whatever, it's just, just the story is that's what's going on, is bad people are hanging out together. They're all kind of using each other, they're backstabbing each other, you know, they're calling, saying nasty stuff about people uh, right behind their backs. Kind of like uh, nasty people will say uh, very inflammatory, uh, slanderous, and false stuff. Uh, uh, on an Amazon review, uh, you know, there's a lot of nasty people out there who will just hurt people uh, without much uh, without much substantial reason. Uh, so, and you know, moving further down the storyline, I mean, if you want to check out the comic, you know, you might see a scene of a uh, Chinese woman uh, literally kicking the butt, the behind of a bad white woman. You know, and there's no racial statement being made here. I mean, being made here, except for just good is finally you know cracking down on the evil that's been doing a lot of damage. And these, and you know, some humans are in cahoots with you know this supernatural power. I do all the really wacky you know horror stuff. So, uh, what else? Might, there's there's a bad uh, Chinese character. It's the uncle to the bad uh, woman Chinese character. And he really, it, it's apparent in one scene that he hates on the Japanese. And I think what I was trying to say is, uh, you know, the good, the good characters aren't really, they're not, they're not so caught up in that, that rift. You know, I think what they're doing in essence by kind of making a fusion of the food is kind of inviting being open to other cultures despite uh, unfortunate events in the past. And I think that's a very healthy thing. You know, I love personally seeing cultures coming together. I really do. And uh, that's kind of, uh, I, honestly, that's, that's even though I don't make that the mission statement of my comics, that's kind of what, what I feel I'm doing through my comics sometimes. Not the central purpose. You know, I just want to tell a story and have some fun. But I like, I like seeing, I like seeing uh, unity, you know. And uh, I'm not going to, I'm not congratulating myself for acting uh, you know, I'm not going to be one of these virtue signalers, okay? But uh, but I want uh, something positive 
taken out of these experiences. I'm not going to hand you some politically correct homogenized drivel and and expect you to gobble it up because I think I you know I don't think uh, I don't think I don't look at readers as suckers. I look at, at at them as my friends. And to the ones who have reached out to me, wherever you're from, I really appreciate you. I love y'all. I really um, you know sorry not to get creepy, but. <laughs> I really, I really, it means a lot to me. So, so I, I consider you all my friends. And, uh, I think, I think this bond of friendship is, uh, kind of rooted in, uh, open-mindedness and reading a comic all the way through and making a proper judgment instead of just seeing something, you know, a bad Chinese character and saying, racist, which is what this person has done. And once again, it's pathetic. So stick with children's books. Or, you know, you say you like to read Junji Ito or, uh, Katsuo Meizu, uh, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Okay, well, you know, one, one thing I've noticed is they have primarily Japanese characters. There's very few Western characters in there. Where me, I'm kind of I'm kind of mixing it up a lot. And, you know, you're going to have a bad apple, okay? Because I've seen them from all walks of life. You know, I've, I've seen the and, – and I really do embrace the very good. If this – a racist comic to me, if I, re, if I read a comic and I say the point of this comic is to make me really hate on this group of people, white people, you know, black people, Asian people, Indian people, you know, not because it's having a little fun <clears throat> in that, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I, it's really trying to make me hate on women, or it's really trying to make people hate on men. It's just depicting every single person of this gender, this race, this orientation, whatever. It's just trying to make them look mighty, mighty bad. Um, <clears throat> Uh, and uh, oh well. <laughs> anyway, I'd I'd like to I'd like to move on from that, and uh, I I think I'll I'll also just mention I'd just like to talk about overripe a little bit because uh, the characters in that you have uh, one person. A, uh, a father who's very shaken up from some tragedies that have occurred in his life and he's he's just very out of sorts now he's got a friend a former high school friend they're all you know they're they're older now and and he's a he's a black fella and I don't make a big point of that it's just is you know this is kind of it this has been inspired from my own real life you know uh, for friends who have been there for me and uh, you know not not necessarily white and I'm I'm inspired by that. I'm not making I'm not making some politically correct statement or virtue signaling. It's just how it is. And you know, there's a police officer character, and I don't make the police officer you know bad or really perfect or anything like that. But he's just doing his job and he's investigating a uh, disappearance that he thinks is really fishy. And and the black gentleman uh, just happens to think he's he's going about this all the wrong way and really disagrees with him. Now there's not just this big instantaneous, you know, hatred between the two of them. They're just two grown men who are having a little bit of a disagreement. So, you know, the, the, uh, black gentleman, he, he, he disagrees and he, he, he makes, he makes a point of it. Uh, they think the police officer's wasting his time and, uh, you know, no hard feelings, but they, and and even the police officer walks off and 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 trusts the convictions of this man, you know. It's not trying to make a point. It's just telling a story. Uh, so whatever, you know. And uh, I'll say I you know people. I just want to say in closing, I didn't always use my gift for good. And I try, I try to say this a lot. I, when I was a teenager, I was very angry and I used my art a lot to, uh, I just wanted to offend people. And I, when I look back, I say I was using the gift that God gave me. That's how I see it. Uh, is, and I was abusing it, you know, and that's, that's a sin that haunts me. Uh, even though I was a kid or a young man, however you want to look at it. And I've, you know, I, I look back and it, I, in a very naive and childish way, I was retaliating against the people who were attacking me in my dreams. And the point is, it's not good to do that to people because, because especially, you know, if I was a younger man, maybe I'd just go all spiteful. You know, maybe I'd just say, oh, yeah, you think I'm that? Well, mm, you know, just something just to push your buttons back.
okay? And we don't want that. You know, we want conversations, not just calling people racist, sexist, bigoted, you know. I mean, based on, you know, and, and I don't want to be judged by when I was an angry kid. And, but I will say, and I don't want to, you know, I, 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 I repented from just trying to use my art to just piss people off. You know, I've even, I've, I've used my art to even kind of compensate for that. You know, I, I, uh, trust in the path I'm on creatively right now. And when people still attack it, it, you know, it hurts. And I think they've got better things to do and they should think about that. You know, they should look at themselves. Uh, because if, if I'd been the kid I once was, you could have done, you could have done a lot of damage to my dreams. A lot of damage was done to me personally. When you attack a person's dreams, you know, it's, it, it hurts them. And if they're, if they're young and they don't know how to defend themselves, I mean, you, you can, it can uh, mess them up. You know, calling everybody racist is not a smart idea. It's stupid, you know, and, uh, well, I guess I'm just about done here. I'd like to think of some other examples. I would just say, you know, I always I always think it's kind of sad when people feel they got to, well, you know, are pushed to the point where they say they have to show evidence A, B, C, and D of why they're not racist. But I'd just like to say I love uh, I love my friends of all, um, all, all backgrounds, the ones who have been good to me, and they know who they are. I mean, just the other day I was hanging out with my good friend Kuh. And uh, Michelle, I helped them uh, set up their uh, treadmill just yesterday, actually. They gave me a beer and a cheeseburger for helping them, and it was just great to be in their company. And, uh, you know, I think about my friends, all my Chinese friends uh, back in Virginia. I think about my good friend, Jarrell, you know, I'm in, in Jarrell, uh, being a black guy. You know, not like I make a big point about that, but, I mean, think about this. I made two movies where he was the lead role. At one point, he even calls my character uh, derogatory words for white person. And I just thought it was hilarious. We're really good friends, you know. So, in closing, uh, I'd like to say this person is, is uh, you know, the, the people who do this are not really even worth the time. I'm, I actually kind of resent that I'm taking time out to actually have to explain this to everybody. Uh, but I would say if you're so inclined and you like horror comics, it's not as good as Junji Ito or Katsuo Meizu, not by a long shot. But if you want, uh, if you want to the work of somebody who's been very inspired by them, you know, I'd invite you to check out Door to Death as long as it doesn't get pulled because, uh, because people saying, you know, inflammatory and false things. Um, you know, check it out for yourself. And I think anybody with uh, half a brain will realize this is, this is just, uh, this statement is just not true. This review is uh, garbage. And yeah, especially to attack somebody who's, who's just uh, not had a very good run of it. I mean, I've done my best. I haven't been in the best circumstances or situations. I haven't, uh, I didn't get to, I didn't get all the help I needed to learn the techniques of the trade. And I just do the best I can. And, uh, and uh, mostly in closing, again, I'd just like to say uh, I really, uh, I really care about uh, you, you all who have been there for me and encouraged me, uh, no matter, no matter where you're from. So God bless y'all, and bye bye.